Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Bernard Tobin here on the Corn School today with Ben Rosser, uh, OMAPRA's corn lead, and we're going to talk a little bit about planting dates. Hey Ben, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, no problem. Happy to uh, be here, Bernard. Well, I guess there's nowhere else for us to be because it's raining outside. It's been, it's been a cold, wet spring, and it's uh, May 5th, and we've got three days of rain ahead of us, so I thought we'd, we'd head back into the classroom and go to do, do some school ourselves um, and talk about planting dates. Uh, before we get to that, just talk about um, what you're seeing out there right now. How much corn is in the ground? Uh, how much activity? Yeah, you know, I think there was a little bit of activity going on in the province. Uh, some of the lighter textured soils, better drained soils, that sort of thing. Bit of smattering in different areas, but uh, you know, certainly just getting started before we got this rain. So yeah. Well, a lot of the conversation now, as I say, it's it's May fifth. We're going to have to sit a while. People are wondering about you know when do I start losing yield and. Uh, Let's talk a little bit about that. Some of the work that's been done in this province in the past really can, you know, give us some insight on that. Sure. So yeah, that's a good question. There's, you know, certainly been a lot of questions of that every wet year that comes up and planning is delayed. And uh, luckily there has been some research done on that in the province. Greg Stewart and Dave Hooker did, uh, did some planning date trials to try to get a better feel for that in, uh, in Ontario. So they looked at uh, planting several different hybrids at a couple of different locations across the province just to see you know, what is the impact of delaying planting on yield potential. So there's three locations they looked at in the province. They did trials at Ridgetown as well as Exeter and as well as Alora. And what the results generally showed is that you know, plant yield potential is you know, generally pretty high and similar from uh, the end of April up until about the 10th of May. As we start to get beyond that period, yields start to decrease just a little bit. You know, it's not like a hard linear drop, but uh, they're just starting to decrease a little bit. But when you look at the curves, you know, they're fairly gradual after those dates. At the Allura location, you could still plant corn up until about the 20th of May and still have 95% yield potential. At the Exeter location, you could plant up until about the 25th of May. And the Ridgetown location, even as far as May 30th, uh, these results still suggested about 95% yield potential um, versus when you would have maximum yields. I mean, the bottom line here is, you know, yields, they're still solid there. That May 20th date is there. But hey, when May 20th comes around, we, we got to start thinking about switching, right? And uh, a lot of conversations are starting about, hey, when and should I switch? Um, you've done some math here on the chalkboard, basically sort of outlining, you know, some, some different heat unit areas. And one of the dates you got to think about. Sure. So this was a bit of work that uh, was also kind of adjusted for the province. And they split it into three different zones in terms of when you'd probably want to start considering switching hybrids. So if you are less than 2,800 crop heat units, the general switch date would uh, be considered kind of in the May 15th to May 20th time frame. If you're in the 2,800 to 3,200 crop heat unit area, that date would be from May 20th to May 25th. And if you're greater than 3,200 crop heat units, Generally, you wouldn't want to start to consider switching hybrids until about the May 30th to early June timeframe. Right. So, bottom line here, I guess the message is we've got a couple of weeks before um, you really have to sort of make that decision. And uh, with some luck, this rain will quit and uh, you'll get to work because I know you've got lots of plots to plant. That's right. Yep. Yep. And uh, all the growers will get to work as well. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, we'll have you back on the corn school again this summer. No problem. Anytime, Bernard. Awesome.